A lot of times when I'm working with my clients, they'll often say that they don't know how to describe their style, but they know what they like when they see it. And if that sounds like you, then recreating outfits from Pinterest is actually going to be a really great exercise for you because it will instantly help you to up-level your style, look more chic and put together, and just feel overall better about your style in a matter of a few minutes and oftentimes without spending any extra money. Really quickly guys, today's video is proudly sponsored by Le Voyage. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I haven't been taking as many sponsorships on the channel and that's because I really am passionate about working with brands that I truly believe in and that I know are going to be great for you guys and aren't necessarily spamming you. So this brand Le Voyage is something that I think you're going to love. It's a non-toxic, female-founded nail polish company based here in the United States in Maryland. Meredith, the owner, reached out to me on Instagram wanting to do a collaboration and I was just instantly taken aback by her beautiful product. Product. I'm actually wearing this bright red wonderful color that is from her Parisian collection Let me show it to you right now One thing I want to point out is the incredible packaging that Le Voyage has This is handmade and handcrafted by Meredith She designs all of the labels herself She crafts all the colors and selects all the colors herself And on the back of each bottle is this beautiful interesting quote in French What's great about these is that they are completely toxin free they are safe to use, so you're not going to be absorbing any harsh chemicals into your body. They are long-lasting, the colors are vibrant and unique, and things that I haven't seen anywhere else. And she has products ranging from entire collections of colors that you can buy, like the Equestrian Collection, which retails for $95, and it comes with 10 unique colors, or you can get the Chesapeake Collection or the Parisian Collection, which Meredith sent to me. So I chose the color Bonfait National, which is this bright, beautiful red. I just thought it was very bright and cherry for the holidays but it also worked really well with my skin tone and I thought it popped on video. You can also find nail treatments like top coats, base coats, and other cool products for your nails starting at $9. The individual nail polishes retail anywhere from $12 to $15 and I think honestly for the holidays getting a few or even just getting a collection is the smart way to go. I love these top and base coats right here which I used on these beauties right now and I have to say it makes a huge difference to do that. And for you guys for the holidays, I'm really excited to share that Meredith generously offered 15% off your entire order using the code BREESTYLE15 and head to her website lefoyagelacquer.com so you can shop the full collection plus a few vintage jewelry and clothing items as well. In the rest of the video, I'm going to be showing you a few colors that I think each of my style icons would wear with the outfits that I'm recreating from Pinterest. That way you can see more of the Parisian collection and some of my favorite top picks, but honestly, this collection has inspired me to start taking better care of myself because I feel so luxurious right now. Even just doing my makeup this morning was really fun because my nails felt extra fancy. The first outfit I'm recreating from Pinterest is from a new style icon to me. Her name is Florence Ares and she is the junior shopping editor at Sheer Lux. You guys know that I'm obsessed with Sheer Lux. They're a fantastic company. Go check them out. Florence's style is really simple and elegant and I think it's not only casual but it's also elevated at the same time. So when I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw this outfit pop up, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to recreate that outfit instantly. So I headed to my closet and actually I was able to raid my husband's closet and I found this oversized black blazer that I thought had a similar shape to what Florence was wearing. So in her photograph she's actually wearing an Isabel Marant wool coat blazer. She's got that YSL bag that I mentioned and her boots are actually from All Saints and her cowl neck or her turtleneck sweater is from H&M. So I thought, okay, I need to recreate this look. I actually didn't have a gray turtleneck, but part of the benefit of trying to recreate a look from Pinterest is that you're able to identify which pieces you think will fill in a gap for you. And definitely a turtleneck is on that list for me because I was like thinking of a thousand different outfits that I could recreate using that piece. So I was able to find something really similar from Ross. I'm wearing a pair of 
of like neoprene sock style boots from Calvin Klein that I also bought at Ross. And then I have a silk hair tie from a collaboration I did last year with Lola Ross. And then of course my husband's blazer and my very worn in, my most favorite pair of jeans from And Other Stories. These jeans are so precious to me and they do have a slight rip in them so I hardly ever wear them now because I want to get them repaired. But I thought that they had a similar cut or shape and color and I thought the overall look was just so sweet and cute and almost a perfect one for one. My handbag is Calvin Klein but it is thrifted and it's got that silver detailing which I thought was a good translation from the YSL silver handbag that Florence is wearing. So overall I felt very comfortable and chic in this outfit and when I'm looking at the individual pieces I know that I can go ahead and create lots of looks using things that I already have in my wardrobe. When I'm scrolling through Florence's Instagram account I do see lots Lots of gentle soft colors I do see some bright colors sprinkled in there too so I think she might go for something bright and red and poppy like this however I do also think she would probably go for something really sweet and soft because she seems really sweet and soft I think she would go with the love potion Parisian or the Parisian love potion which is a really delicate pink but I also think she would probably go for this kind of like mauvey taupey color this is the Rue du Paris and that means just the street of Paris. So I think this beautiful mauve taupe color is something that Florence would wear as well. The second outfit that I'm recreating from Pinterest is from Benedicte Journey. She is the editor at Vanity Fair France and she has been featured a number of times on the Parisian Vibes YouTube channel. Even though her outfits are very simple, they are so gorgeous and I think that the look that I chose, which is a look that was shot in her home for the Parisian Vibes YouTube channel, she's wearing a ribbed mock neck turtleneck sweater and it's I think to die for so I was all over the internet looking for something similar but I actually happened to find something really rather similar from Ross that I'm wearing right now and it is got one cold shoulder instead of two but I think that the cutout trend is something that is going to be here for a while and it's something that I wanted to try out my wardrobe it's not something that I already have not even close and it's not exactly recreating her look but it is definitely in that same universe I'm wearing the same jeans from End of the Stories, the same boots from Calvin Klein, my husband's blazer, and my hair is tied in a low ponytail to kind of give that stark, chic aesthetic. My husband said I looked really good, but that I also looked a little bit like Steve Jobs, and I tend to agree with him, but I like this outfit. If you scroll through Benedicte's Instagram account, you're going to see a lot of really simple and very impactful outfits, but you won't see a lot of color, and so I think she would probably never wear red nails. However, I do think she would probably wear this sweet simple color here it's like a very soft light pink called petite patisserie or I think she would equally wear this color this is more of a brighter pink or a little bit of a pinky pink in the Parisian potion of love which I think is so smart when I layered this up on my nails as a little test run I fell in love I was torn between doing the red or doing the pink and I went with the red so I think that Benedicte would choose something really minimal and really simple. She might even go for this wonderful color called Le Louvre, which is this pearlescent, light, sheeny white color. And I think she might even layer this up with like a top and a base coat and just do like one wash simply because it's the most minimal and chic. The third outfit I'm recreating from Pinterest is from the lovely Lou Huff, who is the director at Sheer Lux. She has very interesting style to me because she incorporates a lot of really high-end brands, but in a really approachable way. So in this image that you see here, she's wearing a simple, what I believe to be an Isabel Morant style top, and she's wearing a Burberry trench coat, a pair of black high-waisted trousers with a front pleat, some high-top converse, and then just a really nice simple black leather bag with gold details. Detailing. And I thought I would try to recreate this outfit but translate it to myself And that's again another tip that I have which is to make a swap if you need to because all rules in fashion are meant to be broken You don't have to just 
play by the rules when it comes to recreating an outfit from Pinterest because you want it to work for you and ultimately you want to shop your closet and get more wear of what you already own. So I swapped out the Converse for a pair of really strappy silver sandals that I got at a discount shoe store. These are Rebecca Minkoff. They're some of the most comfortable high heels I've ever owned in my life. I'm wearing the shoes with several years old to me and other stories high-waisted trousers and then this very old blouse that I have from Zara probably like 2015 I got it on Zara and I thought it was a very romantic look that emulated the look that Lou is wearing and I wish I had a Burberry trench coat but I actually have this beautiful trench coat from Monkey that I got on ASOS a few years ago and so it's definitely a look that is almost a one-for-one -one translation to Lou's look but there are a few details that are different that I've made work for me and I'm also wearing my thrifted quilted Chanel dupe handbag from J Herbert and if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it in the description box below I love J Herbert handbags and that's a little thrifters tip if you're looking for something that's really similar to an actual Chanel look for J Herbert I think Lou is somebody who doesn't shy away from color and so if she were going to be doing her nails I do think occasionally she would wear this red I think she would wear the Parisian love potion the little light soft pink but I also think she would probably go for something that would be a little bit more brooding and moody so I have these two darker reds darker maroons here I tried this uh, this one on my nails as well I think it's called the soif du vivre basically this is like a deep burgundy it's meant to be like drinking a glass of wine but on your nails one of the most lovely colors I've ever worn honestly life is too short to drink bad wine is what the back says here which I absolutely love and then I do think that Lou would probably be somebody who would incorporate a really dark shade like this and this is le style eternal which I think means the style of the eternal I believe it's almost like a dark purple once you see it it's really like a really beautiful dark wine. I absolutely love this and I think that all of these colors are colors that you should have in your collection. Just to show you the final color from the Parisian collection because it's such a sweet, interesting color is this really light baby blue. It's almost gray blue. I think it is one of the most lovely colors. I did try it on and it reminded me of being in junior high. I think I had something, a color just like this. This is the Voyageur du so the traveler of the world I believe is what this one means and it's just a really lovely light baby blue that doesn't really look too babyish it just layers up so nicely into the most lovely gray blue and it reminds me of the skies after a rain in Paris my final thoughts on recreating these three outfits from Pinterest from my style icons is that I really do have quite a number of pieces in my wardrobe that have inspired me to up level my style and when I'm strategically adding in a few new things that work cohesively with everything else I've got, I feel like a new woman. I can't even begin to tell you how much I loved these outfits and how good and comfortable I felt in them. And I think even as a collection, like a mini capsule wardrobe, these would be great foundational pieces to start creating a larger capsule wardrobe that I could take through the rest of the winter and into 2023. Overall, I think recreating outfits from Pinterest is a very helpful exercise if you're feeling stuck in a style rut, unsure of what your style is, or you're just wanting to rediscover old pieces in your wardrobe and reimagine them in new ways so that you're not wasting the clothing that you've worked really hard at investing in. I want to give a huge, huge thank you to Meredith from Le Voyage. These are the most lovely nail colors I've ever seen in my life and I am so grateful to be able to partner with such a wonderful, small, female-owned and operated business. And don't forget that you can head to her website, which is linked in the description box, but it's Le Voyage Live lacquer.com and use the code BREESTYLE15 to take 15% off your entire order. Let me know in the comments section below if you're planning on recreating any outfits from Pinterest, which of the outfits I recreated from Pinterest is your favorite, and which color are you going to be choosing from Le Voyage. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all so much. I'll see you again next time.